And I was heating up the petrolatum overnight. I was going down there in the morning using a garden shovel. I kid you not. It was the easiest way to just get chunks of this goo out of the green drum and putting big dollops of it, you know, that were this big into these steel pots, putting them on a freaking hot place and uh, heating it all up and basically just trying to like nutrible these things into something that might work. I have no doubt that my neighbors were probably thinking I was making something else in that garage, um, but I was actually just trying to make something to end my misery, you know, end my endless recurrent surgeries. But um, that was a wild experience, you know, and you think back on things at the time and uh, they're, they're funny. Like, I, I can't believe, you know, how crazy it sounds in retrospect that I built this makeshift manufacturing facility in my garage you know, but um, that's just part of the story, you know, and it, it makes it fun. It was like I was scaling up, you would do in a big factory, but like, well, shit, first we should try it in a small bowl before we put it in the big pot that, you know, you make the soup in. And that's what we call DIY science or, you know, kitchen science. It worked. And uh, I love that part of the story. And I can't imagine how many hundreds of millions of dollars another company might have spent doing that.